Whew, man, you see, Morehouse chose me. My name is Chukwe Buka Josh from Wafor. Um, I am a junior economics major, mathematics minor here at Morehouse College. I um, was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, but I'm from Anambra State, Nigeria. A true Igbo man, Igbo queen. I'm actually, I started playing basketball really late. Um, I started playing basketball at the age of 16. Funny story, so I was at a KFC, I was killing with my friends, and this coach saw me. He said, you play basketball? I said, no, I said, you want to play? I said, yeah, sure, I want to play. Because you know, I've always been a fan of the game. I love watching Kobe, you know, LeBron, I love James Harden, um, I love the Russell Westbrook, I love watching them play at that time. And he, you know, he, he gave me his number. I went home, I told my dad about it. My dad said, well, you might, you might as well use your height, you know, don't let your height win. <laughs> so I called him and then I started going to his, um, his gym. His, uh, it was actually an outdoor court. So I went there, he started training me on how to play. And um, once he started, you know, the training and everything, I started picking up the same track. You know, I, I mean, at that time I wanted to come to America, but you know, it was like, how am I going to do it? It was really hard. But uh, he started taking videos of me and uh, sending them to coaches in America. And some of them, you know, like me. And then they offered me scholarships to come, you know, play in high school. And, you know, I, I took one and, you know, I've been here, I've been in America since 2017. So I've been here ever since. Four. Five. Same thing here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, I was going through a patch of my life where I was going through a lot of um, immigration issues, paperwork issues. Um, the you know, one thing um, a lot of people don't know is that a lot of the immigrant um, basketball sport players, you know, a lot of them are treated badly by the so-called guardians who are supposed to take care of them over here. Now, you know, they bring them here instead of taking us to school. Some people, some of them go through abuse. Some of them go through labor trafficking, you know, stuff like that. And um, all that stuff, you know, without going to school, tends to mess up your status, you know, in the United States. So I was a victim of some of labor trafficking here in the U.S. Because the fact that my paperwork was all messed up, you know, I was not able to um, go to any of the Division I um, schools that offered me scholarships. And, uh, you know, I had a bunch of offers from South Carolina State, Grambling, even I had Georgia Tech looking at me. A lot of schools, well, whenever they would find out that I didn't have um, my paperwork all figured out, they would, you know, kind of like step back. But um, during, it was a game, I was in prep school. It was my year, I started in high school, I went to do a year of prep school. And um, Coach, Coach Clay, he was assistant at that time, and Coach, Coach Whitler, he was the assistant to Coach Brewer at that time. You know, they saw me playing there, and um, they, like my style of play, I guess. They said, you know, coach kept telling me, yeah, yeah, you were running so hard. I said, ah, well, I guess I'm even recruited for running, you know, that's cool. Um, but, uh, you know, ever since then, they, they said these in a relationship with me. They would come to all my practices, come to all my games. And um, a lot of these other schools, like, you know, they would just talk to me once, you know, throw me an off, and the relationship was not there. But, you know, you know, I, I they offered me the scholarship, I did that relationship with them, you know, and I came on a visit. I think I came, my visit was homecoming 2019. I had never seen anything like it before, <laughs> you know. Uh, they showed me around the school, showed me the history of the school and everything. And, you know, I just, I kept hearing about Morehouse, Morehouse, how successful Morehouse men, you know, are in the world. And me knowing myself, I'm more than an athlete. I'm a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, I call myself, you know, I'm a, I'm a smart individual, you know. And um, people tend to try to shove athletes, think that athletes are dumb. No, we're some of the smartest individuals on earth. Yeah, I look up to Hakeem Olajuwon. You know, first Nigerian player to play in the NBA. Came in here, similar story like mine. And uh, went to the University of Houston, won NBA championships. So I, I studied him all the time. I'm gonna show you a little dream shake. All right? Let me get the ball real quick. So, this is a dream shake right here. All right? Woo! <laughs> Air ball. 
Put that in the put that in the documentary. <laughs> put that in there. You gotta catch the ball. Ah! Hey, he's hit. Another one. Now you can't put two of them there now. Oh boy. Hey. Right there. It's Hakeem the dream. Or oh, he gonna hit you with this. Well. People don't tend to see that side because we're always on the basketball court or on the football field. You know, but I knew my capacity, you know, I knew my ability, you know, as a man, as a Nigerian man, you know, how, you know, how great I, I, I could be. And I thought that Morehouse fit everything I was looking for, both athletics and, you know, life after, you know, sports. And I decided, you know, this was like perfect fit for me. And, you know, here I am.